All right, guys, welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays. And today we're finally going to be doing the in-depth guy slash review on Ultimate Gallic. So I have actually figured out a way to, for him to auto <laughs> Spiders 20 in the test. I couldn't I couldn't do it. I did some uh, tinkering with my team and I was able to do it. So it's not 100% win rate when I do Spiders 20. It is um, around like 80%. So it is very good. So as always, we're going to go over skills, artifacts and mastery. We're going to review him and then we are going to test him out. So I do not have Torment the Cold yet, so I can't do that pairing yet. But when I get Torment the Cold, I will uh, do a video showcasing them. Uh, just a, it's going to be a quick video just showcasing him and you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Let's get started on the Gallic Guide. So Gallic was uh, is part of the Amazon Prime deal that the Rachel Legends has with Amazon Prime. So if, you, if you're an Amazon Prime member, um, you are able to get Ultimate Gallic basically for free. Uh, so like a bonus for people who have Amazon Prime. So is the Ultimate Gala good? Let's find out. So they did make him an Epic now. Uh, he's an attack type still. Too bad he's not a healer. He wanted to be a healer. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. There was a commercial where he was with his uh, psychiatrist and he said he wants to be a healer. Uh, I don't know, dog. It's like I don't even know who I am anymore. I've just been forced into this attack role and it's not me. I want to heal, but he never uses my support skills. You mean your player? So let's talk about him. Oh, my player. My player who gives every healing artifact to the elves. Who only lets me attack with blades of fire. Well, I think we're making progress. <sighs> Raid, your champions are deeper than you think. That's besides the point. So let's go to Fury Slash. First ability, attacks with an enemy, has a 50% chance of placing an HP burn debuff on the target for two turns if the champion's under an increased attack buff. And he does need to have the increased attack buff on him before he's able to even land HP burn. And he fills his turn meter by 10% if the attack is critical, but if it's not critical, it's only 5%. So I do have him with 100% crit rate. And I do not have his abilities all maxed out, so I do just have two of them. Uh, this ability you don't need to max out. Crushing Hopes. Attacks one enemy has a 50% chance of placing HP burn. All of his abilities do the same thing uh, in terms of HP burn. On the target for two turns, the champion is under increased attack. Same thing, he has to have increased attack buff before he's able to place HP burn. And what's very good about this is that he decreases the turn meter by 25% and places increased attack buff on himself for two turns if he crits. So again, 100% crit rate. And he decreases the target's turn meter by 10% if the attack is not critical. So yeah, you want to get that 25% instead of that 10%. And I do have this maxed out. And Burning Rage. So Burning Rage is very good. This ability does need to be booked. It's his AoE ability that attacks twice. And then he places AoE HP burn. If he has increased attack, as I said before. So each hit has a 75% chance of decreasing the turn meter by 20% if the target is under HP burn debuff. So if he already had if the target already has HP burn, he decreases the turn meter by 20%. So yeah, he is very, very good. This ability's damage is not bad, not bad. I don't have a fully booked, so I can't really test out that in terms of damage. I mean, it's only going to be an extra 10%, but you do need that cooldown reduction at level 4 and level 5. So it's going to be a 4 turn cooldown, which is very good. And his passive ability, brush it off. He fully heals himself. When an enemy places a stun debuff on Ultimate Gallic, a 3 turn cooldown on maxed out. So this ability is good for... It looks like it's good for Clan Boss if you can make him the target for the stuns. He just has a singular hit. And he has HP burn. He might, he might be mediocre for Clan Boss. I would say maybe he is okay. So overall, his kit, his kit looks pretty good. He's the only epic champion in the game that has uh, AOE HP burn. So let's take a look at his artifacts. So I am running one set of accuracy. I'm trying to get his accuracy as high as possible so we can land the HP burn. I do have crit damage. I want him. The only reason why I'm building with crit damage is because I want to try him out in arena with uh, Tormin when I get him. But if I'm not, if I'm exclusively using him for spider, I would not run the crit damage. So yeah, I got one set of crit damage and then I got uh, one broken set so the subsets we're looking for you're gonna be looking for accuracy um if you want to build him with damage you can build him with damage attack percentage uh, crit damage and for sure you're gonna need crit rate percentage and crit damage percentage and try to make him a little bit more beefy so hp percentage and defense percentage yeah they're pretty good so for the primaries we got that 60 percent crit rate if you're if you can get crit enough crit rate from substats you do not need to have that as a primary you can switch that cr to crit damage or if you want to make it more beefy you can switch it to hp percentage or defense percentage this is loki uh, a big one right here that 20 percent boost in hp so that is pretty good roll i say 
For the chest plate, I want with attack percentage. I want him to do more damage. Again, just for arena. But if I'm using exclusively for spiders, then I will switch this out to HP percentage or defense percentage. And boots, for sure, we want with speed, crit damage, and amulet with some accuracy. So whatever you can find accuracy on the amulet, I would go for that. And for the banner, of course, you want accuracy. So we got 96 accuracy right here. And as a bonus, we do got six speed. Let's take a look at the total stats. 28,902 HP. Again, if you just want to run for spiders, then make this higher. Uh, 3,262 attack. 107% crit rate. That is 7% uh, higher than it should be. Speed is 180. Um, if you are building him for spiders 20, you can make this higher. You can make this over 200. And critical damage is 179. And accuracy is 287. So that is a big, <laughs> that has a lot of accuracy. So yeah, I will actually switch his build out if he is not very good in arena with Tormund. I just need to do the test first and then I'll switch it out. I'll probably make another video showcasing him again in uh, Spider after I do that. So now we're going to review Ultimate Gallic. So since he has HP burn, I'm going to give him a four for clan boss. I did say he was mediocre before, but HP burn, um, is not bad. He does fill his turn meter as well. He can basically cleanse himself from the stun as well. Uh, campaign locations. I'm going to give him a 4 even though he can be a campaign farmer. Spider's Den. I'm going to give him a 5 for sure. Arena offense. Um, for now, I'm going to keep it as a 4 until uh, I use Torment. So you do need to have Torment for him to be higher. Dragon's I'll give him a 5. Arena defense. I'll keep him as a 4 for now. Magic Keep is a 5, Spirit Keep is a 5, Minotaur Labyrinth 5, Ice Golem. So Ice Golem he would be good because he has HP burn, he can freeze the um, abs on the side. So he would be good for that. So I'm going to give him a 4 for Ice Golem. Void Keep, I'll give him a 5. Fire Nice Castle, he does decrease a lot of turn meter. He plays HP burn but he only has a singular attack. So I would say he's uh, good for Fire Nice Castle. Force Keep, I'll give him a 5 as well. And let's look at the recommended artifacts. So they want him to... This is for Arena, so they want to use Offense and Crit Rate right here. So if you want to build him purely for Arena, this is the build way to go. But I feel like you need more Accuracy. So build him with Accuracy as well. Let's take a look at the Masteries. We're not going to talk too much about the Masteries. So you want it all the way down to get Flawless Execution for that 20% Crit Damage. Because I want to use him in Arena, as I said. If I am not using him in Arena... If I'm not using him in arena, I'll probably go for War Master. And we went down the accuracy route. You need a lot of accuracy for Spider. I think we are over the accuracy uh, limits. So first things first, we're going to test him out in the campaign. So we are on, um, let's go for Brutal. Because I don't think he can do uh, Nightmare. So we're going to go Brutal 12-3. Take out this guy, throw an Ultimate Gallic, throw in some food with him. And remember, his abilities are not all maxed out. So he cleared the first wave pretty quick. 44,000 damage, that's not bad. And then he's probably going to AoE and clear the last wave. No, he doesn't have his AoE yet. But you can see he keeps getting turn meter, so he keeps going fast. Uh, he keeps getting turns. So 20 seconds, I think, is 24 seconds, I think, is respectable. Um, I didn't think he would be a campaign farmer, but I guess he is. If you guys want to see him in arena, you guys can check out my test video where I choose him on my team. Um, I do not have Torment the Cold, so I will showcase him in arena after. So, this is the team I'm using. I'm using Duchess Lilitu and Arbiter to help keep Ultimate Gallic alive. And I have Royal Guard here to help with uh, some damage. And Golden Reaper here to support and decrease the cooldown of his uh, A3 ability, his AoE. Because again, he is not booked, so takes a longer time for him to get his AoE. So generally it takes about around like three minutes with his team. Let's see how many HP burns we got. So not too bad. And if you manual it, it actually is uh, success rate probably 100% if you manual it, because then you can target the, the, the spiders that do not have HP burn when they're basic and then apply HP burn on them. So as you can see, every time one of the spider lanes uh, moves and has HP burn, it keeps ticking at the queen. See that? And 
and then he decreases turn meter even though it doesn't really show but it does allow your team to move before the spider queen multiple times but it's better to pair him with champions that can do that so having like an arbiter having uh like i don't want to say dutch with lily tooth these guys are pretty hard to get um spirit host is a good champion she can place increased attack any ch any champion like gorgoreb so if he was built a little bit beefier the spiderlings would not attack him they wouldn't go after him they would go after somebody else And then for Royal Guard spot, you can actually use a Cold Heart if you have, or Armager. Champions that can do damage based on enemy max HP and are able to reduce turn meter is very good. And Armager is an uncommon champion, so he is easy to get. Yeah, so we're almost done. Three minutes is not bad for um, nearly 100% success rate. Okay, there we go. So three minutes, 39 seconds. And he did 4.6 million damage. So if I took Royal Guard out and put somebody else in, he would be uh, close to 10 million damage, which is pretty crazy, but the win rate is not 100% because he does need some help with the damage. Yeah, so that was Ultimate Gallic in Spiders 20. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I will, again, I, as I said before, I will be doing another video when I get Tormund in arena and then when i switch ultimate galax depends on how good he is in arena if he is good with this build i'm gonna keep him like that and i'll use my arena team my main team but if he is not that good i'm gonna be switching him into the uh, dungeon build so if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining anyway make sure you guys drop a like it helps me out a lot and if you guys are new to the channel and you like to see then consider subscribing i make really shallow content almost every single day and as always i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video